Hey, this is Deepak here. And in this video, I want to talk about the concept of motivation. You know, a lot of people who are into spirituality and they understand that you need to enjoy life more, they are focusing a lot on the here and now. But enjoying the here and now, which is the present moment, uh, also means that you can't plan for the future and build something. And that is why they say spirituality itself is something for the affluent, right? People who can actually have the comfort and the luxury to sit at home and meditate and pay for food and you know live at a comfortable place, uh, wear comfortable clothing. They are the people who have affluence and spirituality is more for them. See, all that uh, concept of being so present here and now, it's all fine, but we also need to balance out planning for the future and achieving things. And when you create a desire, you know, sometimes you are making a deal with yourself not to be happy until you reach that desire. And this is something I heard from Naval, Naval Ravikant. You can look him up. And what I figured out was that I have been uh, reading a little bit about neurochemistry and things like that. And what I have learned from this person, scientist called Andrew Huberman, is that there are two chemicals in the brain. One is serotonin and one is dopamine. So serotonin is more called the here and now chemical, uh, the here and now hormone or, you know, the chemical that makes your brain enjoy what you have right now, which is the present moment. So if you have too much serotonin and very less dopamine, then you will not be motivated to go out and get something. And it is also important to go out and, you know, get it right. Like, for example, 10,000 years back, if you were a caveman sitting in a cave, and if you just sit in the cave and you want to say that, hey, I want to just enjoy the present moment and don't want to do anything, then who will get the food? So you have to have a motivation to go out and hunt for food and bring it back to your cave for you and your family, right? And that happens when uh, you have a lot of dopamine in your system. So dopamine basically goes ahead and makes sure that you have the motivation to go ahead and get something. So dopamine is, sec is secreted when uh, you know you have the anticipation of uh, something happening. So the anticipation itself secretes dopamine, which feels good. And that is the feel-good chemical, which gives you the energy to go and conquer something. Like, you know, in, in that case of the caveman, he goes out and hunts for food. And today we might go out and try to build a brand, build a company and make money through it. So uh, while you are trying to achieve that goal, uh, you have to learn to enjoy the process of it but not get too lost in trying to enjoy the present moment because sometimes the process, even though uh, you try to optimize it as much as possible to get into the flow, there is some level of effort that has to be put. Like for example, right now, I would say that I'm in a flow talking to you and making this YouTube video, but it still took some level of effort for me to sit and you know start recording this video, plan for it and get things done, right? And that discomfort period may, you can't like really enjoy that process. It is something that you have to do. And dopamine will get, get you through that process of trying to go out and get something. So the way I'm looking at it is that I want to uh, make my routine, my food habits, and you know all the lifestyle habits I have in such a way that there is a good balance of serotonin, which is the here and now chemical, so that I enjoy what I am doing and what I am achieving in the progress of achieving something big. But I also have enough dopamine in the system so that I have the motivation to go out, go out and do the work to achieve it, right? Like what makes me make this video? Uh, I want to make this video because I want more views for my you know, YouTube channel. I want to create more value for my audience. And this might lead to growing my personal brand even more, which might lead to increase in revenue. And you can't achieve all that if you are just sitting and meditating and trying to enjoy the present moment. You might not even be able to afford that. Maybe someday when the whole world is kind of served by machines, hopefully the machines don't take over, and uh, the machines do all the work, they do the agriculture, they do the cooking for you. And if, if there are machines all over the place, maybe we will reach a utopian state where every human being on earth can just do art and music and whatever they enjoy, hanging out with friends or whatever, and or basically sit and meditate, right? Basically enjoy the present moment. But we are not in that state yet. And this is not the state to be forgetting about the physical reality and trying to meditate and be here and the now. You have to be ambitious. You have to go out and get it. Uh, in many of the indexes, India is still not anywhere near the top, right? 
I wouldn't uh, mention it specifically, but recently there was an index that was released where India was in 108th position or something like that, more than 100. So there is a lot to achieve. There is a lot to build. Uh, it is kind of built by humanity as a whole, where each and every person is dividing the labor. Like I am into marketing, somebody might be a lawyer, somebody might be a doctor. And, you know, all the humans trying to achieve something, we create a better world for everyone and maybe eventually get to a point where everyone can afford to sit and meditate without worrying about anything. So I would rather look at it this way, right? You know, balance out the serotonin and dopamine in your brain in such a way that and when I say balance out certain dopamine, you have to think about balancing out, enjoying the present moment versus going out and getting something. So if you balance it out and optimize it throughout your life, then you would have lived the ideal life where you would not have, you know, always try to enjoy the present moment and not achieve anything. But at the same time, it's not like you are always chasing some goal and forgot to enjoy the process along the way. And you uh, kind of like, you know, spoiled all the moments while trying to get there because once you get there, it will just disappear instantly, right? And that's what spirituality has been saying for so long. It's like looking at a tree which is at a distance while you are driving the car. If you keep looking at the tree for a long time, it will be in the future. Then for a moment, you will be crossing the tree. That's like the present moment. And for a long time, it will be in the rear view mirror. The actual moment when you cross the tree and you can see the tree on your left side through the window is just like a fraction of a second. Most of the time, you are looking at the tree, uh, tree through the windshield. And most of the time you are looking at the tree through the rear view mirror. So that is how life is. So sometimes all the happiness is not contained in achieving of the goal, goal itself, but in the process of achieving the goal. And that is why you need dopamine in your system. And um, I don't want to go too deep into the neurochemistry and the lifestyle habits that you can optimize to have more dopamine in the system. But I will uh, give you like two small tips. The easiest way to increase dopamine in your system is to uh, get yourself a cold shower every morning. And when you have a cold shower or you get into an ice bath or get into the swimming pool, as soon as you get down, you have a little bit of shivering feeling, right? That shivering feeling uh, will actually kind of uh, also secretes a chemical in the brain and it's called epinephrine. And it's like the brain's adrenaline, right? And I think it is produced in the adrenal gland, so not medical advice. I'm not an expert, but this much I have found out that if you take a cold water shower in the morning or get into a uh, ice bath or get into the swimming pool, then you will have so much of these chemicals secreted in your brain that for the entire day, you will feel motivated and you will feel like getting work done in order to conquer something, in order to achieve something. So rather than trying to beat yourself up if you are not getting work done, uh, try to do something like this where you are literally hacking your neurochemistry uh, to secrete dopamine more. And dopamine is the chemical which will give you the energy, the motivation uh, to strive for something, uh, even though it's going to take time to get that and still be okay enjoying the process of striving for something. Because while you are striving for something, you have not got the end result. And when you get to the end result, uh, it'll kind of like just disappear from uh, your hands in a moment anyway. Uh, it kind of gives a dopamine spike when you get the end result and there is a dopamine crash. That is why when you have a birthday celebration or when you have like a big family function or you have a major life event uh, like, um, you know, um, having having a marriage or, you know, something like that. Uh, then after that event is done, you have like a dopamine crash. So which will, you know, get you back to the normal state. So when it gets you back to the normal state, it just doesn't get back to the normal state. It goes below the normal state, the dopamine levels, and you kind of feel depressed also. And they say that that's when people are most likely to get back to their addiction because it kind of has a spike and then has a crash below the normal level. And you have so much craving for like, let's say alcohol or cigarette, uh, where people have tried to quit it for years. They are more likely to get back to that addiction when they have that spike and then the crash. So, so it's more likely to happen during positive life events than negative life events is what science says. And uh, I have been in the process of learning a lot about the neurochemistry, which will drive success because uh, what's the point of always beating yourself up or always overworking and trying to push yourself all the time, which kind of feels painful. Instead, if you can just optimize the level of dopamine in your brain, then the dopamine will kind of help you sail through the period that you have to strive for to eventually you know get to your goal and that is why every goal should be a milestone it should not be a goal in itself every goal should be a milestone and you should have very big dreams because once you reach that goal then everything starts crashing from there and like is that it 
what next so you should always have the next goal to strive for and in the process of striving for it don't forget the present moment don't forget to enjoy what you have right now but balancing it out with enough motivation that you strive for things which you will probably enjoy in the future you won't enjoy that anyway the process itself is the enjoyment right so uh, that's about it for this video i hope you liked it and i want to start making more of such videos little bit divergent from digital marketing and topics related to that so that uh, as digital marketers it's not just about learning digital marketing which will make you successful it's also about really important things like dopamine because if you don't have enough motivation to learn implement practice execute uh, and scale your digital marketing then what's the point of learning digital marketing techniques anyway so I will see you in the next video and let me know in the comments what you think about this video.